Okay, in this video I'm going to go into how to make a multi-line descendant book in Legacy. And I'm sorry this feature isn't free, <laughs> but I know quite a few people that own Legacy that's never given this a try. Okay, biggest problem with the descendant is uh, you got all these lines that you have to get into the pro into the reports okay easiest way for me was to uh, do an ancestor text file And let's just give it a name test. Yes, I want double spacing. Yes, I want to view it. Now, this gives me a nice, easily read pedigree chart. And what we want are the end of the lines. Legacy does have end of lines uh, reports you can do, but uh, it does it alphabetical, and I want mine in order of this pedigree chart. So let's go ahead and get into the books. Multi line descendant. Now, here we're going to put in the marriage rins. That's why I get this pedigree chart. So, first one I want, William Chapman, 249, William Chapman, 249, there we are. Next one, simple scrolling down, uh, Edmund Hewlett. So I'm just going to cut, well actually the wife's name isn't very common. So I'm going to copy that, go into Legacy, paste that here, and double click. And technically all you do is same thing all the way down. Now, uh, rather than to take the time to put it all out, I have already gone through all the lines. And we're just going to paste them in here. Close. It's actually going to remember these until you try another book. And we want to index two columns and I also like location two columns report options now if I was going to send this off to somebody I would uh, print sources and citations as an end note to the end of the book, but in this video that takes too much time. Privacy, very important. Uh, if it's family, you want everything. If it's a stranger on the internet, always click suppress details for living people and change name to living. Go through all these. Yeah, that would probably be good. Format, surname in uppercase. 
and it include I run almost everything. So let's close that out. Title of the book. Oh. Well, you can change this to anything you want, I think. Maybe I'll put that down there. Yeah, let's put that as a title. Save. And you can click Preview. Rich text would be something for uh, if you wanted to go in and edit it. It's pretty dry reading the way it comes out, so rich text would make a really interesting book if you had that time. Uh, PDF, uh, that's very good for emailing. And while this goes, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we've got it put out. Title page didn't come out, but that's okay. This gives pages of every uh, generation and surname. And This kind of shows you what the, the books will look like. And if that's okay, we just click Create PDF. And we'll save it. And the title page did come out here. And this is a nice <laughs> and it's only 184 KB, very nice for emailing. Gonna show you where. Uh... And what'll be nice is uh, when you go from one generation, I mean one surname into another surname, it'll tell you what page of the book the line continues on. So I hope you found this useful. Kind of rusty at the screen castings and. So, enjoy.